11, President Joe Biden is planning a trip to Israel this week, where a military buildup grows larger along the Israel-Gaza border. Both sides denying a possible ceasefire agreement as the death toll rises, now including 30 Americans, 13 still unaccounted for. NBC's Alice Barr has the latest from Washington. Amid the growing crisis in the Middle East, word tonight that President Biden will travel to Israel on Wednesday to underscore U.S. support and consult on next steps. To any actor, state or non-state, trying to take advantage of this crisis to attack Israel, don't. Secretary of State Antony Blinken back in Israel meeting for hours with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu also announcing an agreement between the U.S. and Israel to help humanitarian aid reach civilians in the Gaza Strip. Including the possibility of creating areas to help keep civilians out of harm's way. That as the crowds and the desperation build at the still closed Rafa border crossing from Gaza into Egypt. Palestinian civilians with foreign passports, including hundreds of Americans, waiting for the gates to open to get out of the war zone and allow aid to flow in. The patients are screaming in pain. There is nothing to alleviate their suffering. And so to bring in the humanitarian supplies, obviously water is a huge issue as well. The Israeli military has troops massed at the border, but has not yet launched a ground invasion after warning civilians to get out of northern Gaza and amid negotiations to free roughly 200 hostages Hamas militants took from Israel into Gaza in their brutal terror attack. Hamas now saying it will release non-Israeli hostages if, quote, the necessary conditions are available. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. And the president is expected to travel to Jordan after his visit in Israel to meet with the leaders of Jordan, Egypt, and the Palestinian Authority.